Hello, I'm going to try to make a quick point about abortion. I'm going to do that by making an analogy between uh, puberty blockers and pregnancy. So, if I want to get to the relevant material here, or, sorry, not this. If you don't know what puberty is, puberty blockers are, it's uh, something that stops the production of sex hormones, including testosterone and estrogen. You can see that here, and if you don't know what pregnancy does to the body, there's a lot of extra hormones that are added, and you can see that in this paper. You really just uh, scroll down, and I'll link it in the description. Now, if you know those two things, you can conceivably make an argument such as this one. So, you have puberty blockers, which stop the regular hormonal processes, and pregnancy, which adds extra hormones, which stops the regular hormonal processes. So if you're against puberty blockers, you would be okay with abortion to maintain the regular hormonal processes. And if you're for them, you would be okay with abortion to stop the extra hormones being added. And that would be really simple argument you could make. Now, I would like to make some extra points. So, like, baby is not mentioned in this article, not once. Child is only mentioned as far as the actual child is concerned. And as many times as they mention human, it's usually in the, the means of a human fetus of some sort. You know, and if you're interested so much in what happens during puberty blockers and the complications of that, but not so interested in the complications of, well, pregnancy, then you're not being super consistent because there are a lot of complications, and I'll also link this article that. That's all I have to say.